So Metri is a healer now. Take a moment and let that sink in. That's right, no more injecting venom into your enemies and draining their stamina. You have to rely on them attacking you. Instead, you can heal the people in your party now. This is just one of the major changes being brought to us in this new PTB update. Most of the dinosaurs subspecies stats have had a significant change where it's no longer plus defense minus speed plus speed minus defense but instead reflects individual stat changes such as 5% armor, 3% attack, or 10% stamina recovery. Along with numerous bug changes, there are also a bunch of new and changed abilities, such as this new damage type they're going for called Armor Piercing. They gave it specifically to Displetosaurus, which is going to completely ignore a dinosaur's armor stats so that they start taking damage directly. Lone Survivor and Lone Hunter was an ability that was already in the game, but the number of dinos that have that now has been greatly expanded. As a reminder, that ability gives you 10% more armor and 10% more speed when you're not in a group. So they're definitely trying to at least sort of cater to solo players here. Dana Nykus and Latina Venetrix both have an ability called Raptor Strikes, which basically increases their damage with each successive hit they get on you. And with Pounce coming to the game, these guys are finally going to be the Night Terrors that they were meant to be in the last update. Concavenator, Alioramus, and Ceratosaurus have a new ability called All for One, which gives them a 3% damage increase when they're in a group with other medium sized carnivores and stacks up to five times. That's a 15% passive damage increase for each dinosaur in that group, which means this can go either really right or really wrong. Speaking of Ceratosaurus, I do not know why they have such an identity crisis with my boy. Ceratosaurus has been changed once again pretty drastically. Ceratosaurus has a new thrash ability which basically makes you take 25% of the damage you deal to your opponent. Which I don't know why we really need to do that. <laughs> Serato also got a jump kick similar to Concavenator's ripping kick but of course it doesn't do any bleed. And they even got a shove ability which basically launches you forward and causes knockback. Leap has been removed and survivalist has been removed so no more jumping with charge bites at the apexes. Megalania is now the main venom monster with a new ability called Toxic Scream which increases their venom output by 50%. Sukumimus has a stomp now which was desperately needed for ankle biters and a new ability called Claw Barrage which increases the damage with each successive strike similar to Raptor Strikes for Danonychus and Latina Venetrix. Allosaurus finally got that hatchet bite which really just adds bleed and Kentrosaurus can now shoulder check enemies into oblivion. Pycnonemosaurus can now bulldoze people for more knockback which I tried and got obliterated by the nearest Suko. The armored tail ability is really good though and will be the saving grace for any Sarcosuchus. Speaking of, Sarcosuchus got another buff with the drenched blows ability and now no longer does bleed. Instead it has an asphyxiating bite which drains their oxygen and will make you sink faster in the water. Tyrannosaurus Rex can now literally face tank you with an ability that reduces damage to its head, neck, and shoulders. And if you thought you'd be safe biting its ankles, it also now has this stomp ability. Spinosaurus no longer does bleed on its claw attack and the removal of crushing bite means Eotrikes are definitely going to murder you now. Lambiosaurus also has the armored tail ability along with the primal mending heal ability which means they are never going to die. Velocidromeus now has an ability called flock migration which basically reduces your stamina loss when in a group. Dana Kairos has two new vocal abilities. The first one, Hiss, reduces incoming damage by 65% for 20 seconds and has the shortest cooldown I have ever seen. Their second ability, Goose Honk, increases knockback for your attacks for 30 seconds. There are also a couple of other updates such as admins now being able to pause the time of day and menus automatically closing when a player takes damage. The Titans has now added more music to the game, music that will be used in combat and increases in intensity as the fight continues. They have music for the tutorial cave, the home cave, and the character creation music. The music is different between maps so Pandora has its own music and Gondwa has its own music and you definitely should be hearing it right about now in the video. If not, it was probably copyrighted. Either way it's a nice quality of life change and it should make the combat more intense and hopefully elevates the gameplay. All of these abilities are fine and good but the biggest thing to come out of this update was of course Pounce and Sarko's new clamp ability. I wasn't able to try them out myself because they closed it in the testing branch before I got a chance to but these are the two abilities that will definitely change the dynamic of this game. 
that's about it for this video tell me what you think do you think this update will be good do you think it will be bad other than that thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to check out my other videos that cover a lot of other games along with path of titans thank you again and i will see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.